Welcome back. Lots of things go for big money on the black market. Steve Harris found something that might surprise you, and it ended up in Chesterfield. It was a shipment headed to the United States illegally, seized by customs, and now it sits behind this locked door. The manifest said it was toys, and when they opened it up, there was an Xbox controller inside. But what they found after they x-rayed it... This. Drugs, you ask? No. Someone had opened up the Xbox controller, taken out all of the components, all the guts of the controller, and stuffed it full of praying mantis egg cases. Seriously, praying mantis eggs. But these aren't your garden variety praying mantises. No, these are from other countries. Evidently, there's big money in black market bugs. Who knew? The guy behind the mammoth moth, he knew. He's the senior entomologist at the Butterfly House in Chesterfield, one of the few places in the country that can take illegal insects. Because of rules and regulations, they can't release them back into the wild. These were praying mantises native to other countries, and so they reached out to us and they placed them with us here. When they hatch, they're tiny. I don't know if you can even see them there, but when they grow, well, they're really popular pets. However, most species that are brought into the country are done so illegally. Like these from the Xbox controller, the spiny flower mantis from Africa, and the dead leaf and orchid mantis from Asia. Uh, this could be 50 to to $100. So how much money are we talking here? The most recent shipment U.S. Fish and Wildlife sees was over 50 mantis egg cases. On the black or gray market, they could be as much as 100 to $150,000 from one shipment of mantids. Chew on that for a while. So what do they do with these costly critters? Well, most of them are sent to zoos around the country. Or like this spiny flower mantis, they become local celebrities, hanging out as part of the Halloween display at the Butterfly House. Not a bad gig for a praying mantis who's from out of town. Steve Harris, News 4.